Hello and welcome. In Team Developer 6.3, we have major new .NET reporting power for you as well. I have a sample application here for you that lists a number of reports that have been created using a web service provider that I have created using Team Developer 6.3. This web service provider executes reports that have been designed using the new report designer IDE that is available for teamdeveloper.net. And this IDE or this reporting tool can create reports at runtime that are either PDF files or HTML files like you can see here. The reporting interface is not based on messaging like with um, the report builder reports previously available, but totally contained in a function call and all the parameters are being passed into one function and then the report is being executed and the report file is being created and can be retrieved and of course displayed in a browser or in uh, Adobe Acrobat. Now let me show you this application here. Create a new report. When I click new report, a dialog opens and I need to choose a company name from my database and give this a file name of Dutch June2015.pdf. This should be a PDF report and I run this report get a message back, yes, the report has been generated and it comes back and is being displayed here in this grid window. With a double click on it, I can display this. It's being displayed in a browser with the PDF URL here. I can also do this for HTML reports. Where's the Dutch designs? Dutch June 2015.html run report, report generated. And you see that I now have a, an HTML file here as well. And if I open it in the browser, you see that I'm opening the HTML file from the IIS server on this local machine here. Before I show you the code for all this, let me show you the report designer IDE that is new on .NET. Here you can see the invoice report that was part of the application you saw before. You see the page header with the address info. Um, it's grouped by invoice number and the header of the invoice number contains all the details. Then comes the detail block and then in the foot of the invoice number we uh, calculate the uh, subtotal, add tax, and the grand total of the invoice. The report contains several data items. Data items are basically, um, in most cases, probably um, database columns or can be calculated values coming from any, um, you know, that you calculate in your .NET coding. So this is, um, you pass an array of these data items to this report from your programming. The report variables are a number of variables that are passed once to the report, not for every row of data. So you have one set of these variables that you pass into the report. Then you have a number of formulas where you calculate um, the total amount and things like that. And you have the break groups um, defined, which is the invoice number here. Very important, of course, is that you can import existing QRP reports here. And so you can you reuse your work um, that you created with the other team developer applications, for example. Now let me explain the source code of the web services provider that I was using. There's one web service operation called generate report and store. This returns a class C result, which contains an error indicator and an error message. And the web service has four parameters the client passes in the report file name that has been created with report designer, the output file name, the name for the company that should be for which the invoice should be created, and a Boolean indicator whether to create a PDF file or an HTML file. Now, in this um, operation here, um, there's two things. Here's this, a populate company info, and you see the populate company info goes in the object report vars. In the report, the company information is 
displayed using report variables. So there's those one-time values that are coming in. And there's this um, other part, populate invoice data. And here's this object report data, which is an array of um, items that are being created um, in this function here, populate invoice data. Now, if BPDF is true here, then, then I'm calling this sal web report create to file, and the format is PDF. If false, then I'm calling this function using the HTML encoding. So not very complicated. I'm preparing all the data, pass it in into this sal web create to file, and you see here is the um, exist the report design file, the output file, the report variables object, the report data object, and that's basically all you need to do to create that report here. The advantages of the new report designer reports are that you can create several types of reports. All the reports are file-based, so you create a, either a PDF file or an HTML file in a directory. Then you can display this file using Adobe Acrobat or an internet browser. Or you can take this file and email this file to a customer, for example, if this uh, is an invoice, like in this case here. So many new ways for managing and creating reports with the new report designer in teamdeveloper6.3.net.